Yo, what's going on Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again and today we're doing a different type of video. We're doing a franchise mode video. So that is right, today we're doing a franchise mode, GM mode, whatever you want to call it. Uh, today we are testing out if a team of all London Knights alumni can win a Stanley Cup. So hopping into franchise mode, we're going to build a new one, we're going to substitute the team I created, the London Knights alumni, into the NHL. The GM name that will be running them is none other than myself, Leifer, bang, continue. And uh, right now, we're going to keep them in the Eastern Conference, so what I want to go do is check the NHL standings to see who the worst team in the Eastern Conference is, and we will substitute that team for the London Knights alumni. So I will pop it up on the screen here, but it looks like the last place team in the East, Detroit, has eight... Ottawa has five, so I guess we're substituting the Senators out of the Eastern Conference and the Atlantic Division. So here we go, we're going to substitute the team for my created team, the London Knights alumni. So we have a total uh, team budget of $86.160 million. Our arena is the year arena, we would love that. And our top players are John Carlson, Patrick Kane, and Mitchell Marner. Division realignment, we are in the Atlantic here. Uh, we are the lowest overall. Oh, no, we are not. We are the second lowest overall team. Uh, no one can beat the Detroit Red Wings, apparently. But I feel like we're going to have a tough time in this division. A lot of good teams. All right, all the settings are set up. It doesn't really matter. We're not going to be making any trades or anything like that. We're just going to be simulating through a year to see if this team um, can win a Stanley Cup. So looking at the lines um, of this alumni team, forward lines, our first line is looking good. We got Mitch Marner, John Tavares, and Bobby Thomas. Uh, plus one overall for the Lions, so it's not bad. All the Lions have a plus one overall, which isn't bad. But our first line is pretty good, 91, 89, and an 82. Second line, we got Matthew Kachuk, Bo Horvat, and Patrick Kane. Again, all London alumni. These are London Knight greats. Um, you know, great second line. Our third line, Josh Anderson, Nazem Kadri, and Domi. Pretty funny that Domi and Anderson are on the same line after that Columbus-Montreal trade earlier this year. And then our fourth line is Corey Perry, Anthony Siu, and Patrick Maroon. So uh, I want to say our forwards are pretty good. We have a solid two lines. We have some very good depth on our third and fourth. Uh, I'm not too worried about our forwards. Looking at our defense, though, it's looking a little rough. You know, John Carlson obviously going to be carrying the load. He's playing with Nikita Zadorov. Decent first pairing. Our second pairing, Oli Mata and Adam Boquist. And then our third pairing being Evan Bouchard and Victor Mete. Not the greatest on defense, and I'm a little worried about that. And, man, if you think I'm worried about defense, look at our goaltending. Michael Hutchinson has been the best thing to come out of London um, so far. Um... And we got Tyler Parsons backing him up. Steve Mason was another London Knight alumni. I don't think he's in NHL 21. So our goaltending is a big issue. I don't think defensively we will do well. And I'm hoping our offense um, can really lead us to just scoring more goals than the other teams. And looking at who's scratched, we have Vlad Nemestikov and Mark Mathot. I'm sure I could have put more people in. But for now, we only have two. Um, but let's get straight to the simulation, I guess. So in the preseason, we did pretty good. I mean, it's not hard to do bad in the... Uh, it's not hard to do good in the preseason, but let's go. We're going to simulate a month. Let's see how this London Knight team does. We win our first game. We lose in overtime back-to-back. -back. We're on a three-game losing skid. Make that four. No trades, please. We're 2-1-3. and three. Not the greatest start to the month. Um, let's see what else we can do here. Uh, we got three more games left. And at the end of one month, we're 7-1-3, and three, which is actually pretty good. Um, looking at the standings, we're at the top of the Atlantic Division with 17 points tied with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, are we at the top of the NHL? No. So the Blackhawks are one point above us in the NHL, which very interesting that the Blackhawks are doing well. Going to be simulating another month. Hopefully we can keep up the good work. These trades are getting super annoying. Uh, we're just going to keep declining them as they pop up. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty surprised that the team is doing good given the defense we have and the goaltending we have it is super crazy um all right Bo Horvat I'm sorry for how I'm playing out there Bo not a big deal man we're doing great Bo Horvat morale gain plus one we like to see that and hopefully that'll help us in the long run here not that great of a month let me decline and edit this block um because Jesus with the trades 
And at the end of two, we're 12, nine and five. We definitely dropped off that month. Uh, we started off the month with a two game winning streak against the Sabres, lost a big one to the Lightning. Um, yeah, not a great month. Let's go look at the standings and where we're playing at right now. We are now in sixth. Um, that is not good. We fell off that month. Not good at all. Uh, Mitch Marner leading the team with 36 points. Not surprised at all. We definitely have to have a better month here. Um, last month was absolutely horrible. We're having a conversation with Nazem Kadri now. Uh, persuade him. You're fine, buddy. We're doing fine. Uh, we just got to continue here and a plus five management morale. We love to see that. We're on the same page now. Um, 7 2 loss to the uh, Sharks definitely does not help. We're on a little five game winning streak, it looks like there. Make that six. So, pretty good start to the month here. We got a couple games left in the month of December. And we're 21 14 and 5. We definitely had a better month. We were on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 game win streak. Um, not too bad. Only four losses in that month, which is not too bad. Let's go look at the standings. We are now in fourth, so a big month. We are three points up on the Florida Panthers, but they have two games in hand. Um, we are not too far off of the Sabres. John Carlson now leading the team in points with 51. As a defenseman, that's actually insane. So looking at the at defense, uh, John Carlson, um, 42 assists, 9 goals, 51 points in 40 games. Marner has 50 points in 40 games. Tavares with 46 and 40. Kaner with 44 and 40. Bobby Thomas with 31 and 40. That's pretty good. I'm actually interested to see how our goalies are doing. Michael Hutchinson, yeah, not great, man. An 875 save percentage. 376 uh, goals against a 76 overall 73 overall has a better save percentage than 80 overall Michael Hutchison that that really says something about you Hutch so simming through another month hopefully we have another great month um, we start off with a win we love to see that and we are on a three game winning streak if I'm not mistaken make that four make that five and we take an L Kadri again wants to speak about ice time concerns so that L back to back L's there not the greatest we need to get a win we're on a three four game losing streak five game losing streak it's crazy how this team could do so well and then go on a skid like that um, looking at these standings we are in fourth with 57 points three behind the Sabres uh, which isn't too bad. We are tied with the Canadians, but we have a game in hand. Uh, John Carlson still leading the team with 67 points. Have there been any overall changes? It doesn't look like there has been. Uh, Kadri said he wants more ice time. We'll give him some more ice time here. He'll be playing with Kachuk and Patrick Kane for the time being. Defensively, Adam Bocas went up to an 81. That's nice to see. And Hutch is still an 80. Not, not, not a shocker. So after four months, we're 26, 19, and 5. I, I, honestly, I thought we would do a little bit better, but it is what it is. We need to have a good month here. Trade deadline, we're just going to skip over because we're not trading anyone, so there's no point. Anyways, uh, let's have a good month here. We, we're on back-to-back -back L's. But we broke it up with a win. We're getting points in these uh, most of these L's. Uh, Kadri wants to talk again. Yeah, I'm happy that I could help you out, buddy. 6-3 out of the wings. We can't be losing 6-3 to three to the wings. No offense to the wings or anything, but not good. Uh, three nothing L to the Flames, which isn't great. We are on a three game losing streak. Um, Toronto trades away Timothy Lilligren of Florida. Okay, um, interesting stuff. And we're ending off with a f eight to five one against Oilers, which is nice. We're thirty one twenty six and seven after I think five months. Looking at the standings, we are now in fifth. Uh, we're one point behind the Panthers, but they have a game in hand. John Carlson having himself one hell of a season. 75 points in 64 games is actually insane from our number one defenseman. Marner has 71 and 64. Uh, Kane has 67 and 64, but he's a minus seven. That's an issue. And looking at our goalies, man, Hutch, I can't remember. I think his save percentage went up a little bit, but man, uh, like I said, goaltending was going to be an issue. He's 24 and 22. That is absolutely horrible. But hey, uh, we're fighting for a playoff spot. What more can I ask for? Uh, we just need to have another great month. I've been saying that throughout the video, but this month is one of the most important months here, and uh, we need to do good. All right, continuing along here, we take a 3 nothing L to the Leafs, but we've gotten a couple wins before that. 7-3 L to Vancouver is definitely tough. We are on a skid. Um, what is that losing streak? A four-game losing streak with a couple games left in the month. We are in 8th place, so um, doesn't look like we're making the playoffs here, boys. I guess Michael Hutchinson, when you have uh, a goal thing that you have, it just does not bode well for you. 38, 35, and 9 is not good at all. So yeah, we did not make the playoffs. Um, 
kind of shocked because we had some great talent up front. Um, but just recapping everything here, Victor Mete, or Victor Mete, John Carlson with 91 points in 82 games as a defenseman, absolutely unreal. Patrick Kane with 90 points in 82 games. Marner with 87 points in 82 games. Tavares with 78 in 82. Kachuk with 66 in 82. If you can see here, man, um, the plus minus just says it all. Do we have a Zadorov? We've only had a handful of players with a plus um, minus with a plus rating, and that is just absolutely horrible. And man, it came all down to our goaltending. Like when you're starting goaltender, yeah, he won us 31 games. He lost us 29 games. Um, an 8.82 uh, save percentage, a 3.62 goals against average, isn't gonna get you done. Isn't gonna get it done, and isn't gonna get you a playoff spot clearly. So, um, not impressed with Michael Hutchinson at all but we will uh sim to the draft we will see who wins the cup and all the trophies maybe we had someone who won a trophy on our team you never know so the edmonton oilers have won the stanley cup oh my connor mcdavid getting the trophy so let's go look at the uh awards here so obviously the edmonton oilers won the stanley cup this year president's trophy went to the toronto maple leafs they couldn't get it done in the playoffs though Clarence S. Campbell Trophy or Bowl is going to the Edmonton Oilers. The Prince of Wales Trophy going to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Toronto coming home with two trophies. Edmonton coming home with two, with what you would expect. Looking at the individual awards, Art Ross is going to Evgeny Malkin. Uh, Hart Memorial going to Evgeny Malkin. Uh, James Norris Memorial Trophy. So there it is. John Carlson wins the, the Norris Trophy um this year again 91 points out of a defenseman in 82 games is absolutely insane it was a no-brainer that he was going to win it so hey we won a trophy in a year simulation uh didn't make the playoffs but good for john carlson Connor mcdavid wins the lady bing memorial trophy calder going to cappers off no surprise there he's probably going to win it in real life this year con Smythe going to Connor mcdavid no shock there Vezna going to Vasilevsky. Who else would you give it to? William N. Jennings going to Mackenzie Blackwood. Pretty cool to see, actually. Uh, Bill Masterson going to Derek Forbert. Okay. Jack Adams going to Goudreau. Good for the Devils. The Selkie going to Anze Kopitar. All right. He's won it in 2017. No brainer that he wins it in 2020, I guess. Ten Lidzi going to Evgeny Malkin. He's cleaning up with trophies this year. And then Maurice Richard goes to Austin Matthews. You absolutely love to see that. Yeah, Matthew's finishing with 100 points, 55 goals. Yeah, um, makes sense. So, that is a year simulation with the London Knights um, alumni team. It sucks that we didn't make the playoffs. We couldn't try to win the Stanley Cup, but John Carlson having himself one hell of a season. This game really proves that you need to have good defense and good goaltending to um, do good in a simulation. So, again, I think that's what we were lacking with this team. We did not have some great defensemen besides John Carlson and uh, Adam Boquist and Zadorov. And our goaltending wasn't great. Michael Hutchinson, 80 overall, was our starting netminder. Uh, didn't even have a 900 save percentage, so really does explain why we didn't do as well. But uh, this was a fun video to make to see how the London Knights team would do um, against um, you know current NHL teams. Um, let me know what other um, OHL team you want me to do for next video to see who we can win a cup with in a year. Um, but guys, that's it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We are close to 4,000 subscribers. And uh, guys, a new GM mode will be starting up soon. I think we will be taking over none other than the Pittsburgh Penguins. But again, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.